Hello and congratulations to being close to achieving your 2021 residence visa or having received it already. This is a good time now to think about how you best make sure that your partner and your family can join you in New Zealand if they are not already here. There usually is a string of visas that are required to make sure that ultimately your partner gets residence like you. The first part is that if you are not yet married and you're going overseas to get married, that you then apply for a visa immediately afterwards so that your partner can join you. And in some countries, we have culturally arranged marriages that require some different documentation than other marriages. And then you would have your partner come on a visitor visa. That visitor visa brings your partner into New Zealand. And that means you can begin to record the time of living together. In New Zealand, a partnership is not just a partnership because you have a marriage license and you have married. It is a partnership that is lived in real life. That means you have to show that you live together, that you jointly operate your household, that you jointly work with your expenses and your income. You show that you are together every day. We call that a genuine and stable relationship. And those are the requirements for immigration New Zealand to recognize that relationship. Now, there are different requirements for relationships based on the type of visa you're looking for. The highest requirement, 12 months and more of a documented, genuine and stable relationship is for the residence visa, a permanent visa. The temporary visas, visitor and work visa, have much lower requirements. So when someone has come to New Zealand on a visitor visa as your partner, and you now have lived together, let's say about three months, you have good documentation of the partnership, then you apply for a partnership work visa so that your partner can work. There are requirements for that. And those requirements will change in December this year. So there is a timing element to be considered as well. And your advisor will help you with that. Once you have your partner here on a work visa and there is a partnership, that partnership now continues. And when you have 12 months together, you then sponsor your partner for residence. If you are a resident in New Zealand and you meet the requirements, then you are allowed to sponsor your partner and your partner will then also be a resident and then you both move towards permanent resident and if you like to ultimately citizenship. There is a process to go through to make sure that all these visas are lined up properly so that you achieve the purpose to bring your partner here, to have your family together and to then make New Zealand your home. Make sure that you plan properly how you document the timing of these applications, which application comes after the other so that you end up with a proper pathway to residence, to permanent residence, and then to citizenship. In my group, there are a number of licensed advisors that will be able to help you with making sure that this pathway is properly planned out and executed. We have Sheree Baird, who is in North Shore in Auckland. She's a very experienced licensed immigration advisor and helps you mainly with your work visa. She's very good at that. We have Ava Sanchez, who is working mainly with applicants from South America, not from Brazil. We have Renata, who is our office manager for Brazil, who will refer clients from Brazil to licensed immigration advisors in the group. Bhavna Call, who works mainly with our Indian clients here as a licensed immigration advisor. And we have Pornima, who operates the office in Bengaluru and then can relate to your needs, understands you, and can then refer you to the licensed immigration advisors. We have Kathy Fury, 
and Kathy is a specialist in student visas for New Zealand. And often the student pathway is the first time that people come to New Zealand with a visa and then from there on develop work and residence pathways. And we have Vani, who is a licensed immigration advisor. They call them a Mara agent in Australia. For those of you that also look at Australia as an option in order to make sure you have pathway choices, either New Zealand or Australia, we invite you to make contact and we invite you to make sure that the pathway of bringing your partner to New Zealand is smooth, works easily, and is successful. Best wishes.